Hi, my name is Maddie and we're back to do some more grammar and punctuation. Now you may be able to see that this video is also available with an alternative where I did it outside and when we watched it back the birds were quite loud so I'm just doing another version without the birds but you choose which one you prefer to watch. I quite like the bird version but some people have said it's a bit distracting. So basically today we're going to look at some spelling. Now I know you're all so super excited about the thought of a spelling investigation but bear with me because it is quite fun. Um, one of the spelling investigations that we did in my classroom was when we had a statement to investigate and that statement was to make a word plural we had S or ES and what I asked the children is is that always, sometimes or never true? Now before we even started to investigate lots of children said miss can we cross out never because we know it's definitely happened some, some of the time. So that was brilliant for us to say. So we knew it We knew it wasn't going to be never because we do know that when we make a plural, we do sometimes add an S or an ES, but is that always the case? So then we were down to always or sometimes. Now, before the children went off to investigate, I asked them for some proof of the S and the ES ending for a plural. And of course they came up with lots. So these were some of the words. They came up with cats, they came up with pencils, and they came up with girls. Okay, and for the adding of the ES, they came up with boxes and watches. And I think they might have come up with foxes, but there are lots of words that end in ES. What we need to remember is it's not IS. Sometimes people spell that boxes with an IS, but it's actually ES. So then I said, it's over to you. I challenged them to come up with four other alternative endings for plurals to see if it's always or sometimes, and they all went away to have a think. Now, I'm just gonna let you know that there are more than four, but I'm just gonna do four, and then you can investigate what other endings of plurals you can find. So one of the most popular ones from the children was the IES. Okay, now I know lots of you are familiar with this, and they came up with words like babies and lollies. We all like to have lollies when it's sun, sunny, don't we? We have ice lollies. And the other ending that they came up with, which I was really pleased to see, was the V-E-S, because sometimes that can catch us out. It's a bit tricky when words end in an, in an end with an, a sound of the F, yeah? And that can sometimes throw us. So they came up with wolves, singular being wolf, plural wolves. So you might be able to think of some more. You can stop the video if you want to have a think. They also came up with knives, put the knives on the table, or you would have singular a knife, and then singular of a house has a roof, but we could have a number of roofs. Now I'm saving two here, I'm gonna talk about them, but you might be able to stop and have a chat about other plural endings that you're aware of. Now the one I'm gonna share with you now is my favourite type of plural. And that might sound a bit strange that I've got a favourite type of plural, but I have. And they're the ones that stay the same. I'm sure you know some of these that stay the same and they are fish, sheep, steer. And we know if they're plural by what comes before them. So you might say, I, I went to the park and I saw a deer. Then we know you saw one, but if you say I went to the park and I saw some deer, that determinus sum is telling us that you saw more than one, okay? And the other one, which is my second type of favorite plural, are the irregulars. And they are irregular because they just don't have a pattern. A little bit that like the irregular past tense. But they are irregular plurals. And we can't, we can't, we can't, you can't guess them. And this is where sometimes people go wrong. So one is child, a singular of a child becomes plural children. And then we've got tooth, which becomes teeth. Whereas some of our younger children call it tooth. And the, the best one that, that I think is, is fun when younger children get it wrong is mouse. I know you, might, you probably know the plural of mouse, but we know it's not mouses, it's mice. Now there's no rule for why that happens, it's just the way it is. So I reckon you can come up with some more alternative endings for plurals, because I can think of at least two more. So what do you reckon you could have a go at and see what else you can think of? And maybe add some more to these boxes. Thank you for watching. See you next time.